All right, folks, it is time for another beer list because <laughs> we were talking in my chat uh, about bread, and I just need to set the record straight here. All right, we have a few thought criminals in chat that have uh, have dangerous takes, and it's up to me to save save the rest of you with my good opinions. Let's talk bread. Bread's my favorite food. It's a food I'm not allowed to eat right now because I'm, I'm making some changes to my diet. Um, and it's great. This is not a comprehensive bread tier list. This is literally just the first one that I found. But I will talk about other breads in this that are not listed. Um, so anyway, let's talk about the bread tier list. This will probably be less long than the cereal tier list, I hope. Or not uh, not cereal, the uh, snack food tier list, I hope. But maybe we'll do cereal sometime in the future, too. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to talk... I'm going to talk about a few breads here that I think are unquantifiable first because the quality between them is so different uh, that it, it it's hard to put in a specific spot. So they're going to go in B tier because they can vary so much. And while this goes for every single bread on this list, even just the form factor of a breadstick can change the entire quality of a breadstick. Uh, if you go to a restaurant and order breadsticks, are you going to get soft breadsticks? Are you going to get warm breadsticks? Are you going to get cold breadsticks? Are you going to get hard breadsticks? Literally all of these qualities uh, drastically change, uh, change the flavor profile of the breadstick. So it is sort of impossible to put it on this list right now uh, because obviously um, if you like, it's just unquantifiable. Like this just breadstick is not a quality. Like, like it is, it is a form factor more than it is a type of bread. So in order to encompass the full nature of breadsticks, where you're like, you get a hard breadstick, that's an F. I'm sorry, no thank you. You get one of those like thin ones that tastes like nothing, uh, no thanks. But you get like a nice, a nice soft, warm breadstick with like a light brushing of like a, like some, like some, uh, some like Parmesan cheese on top or something. Like that could be real tasty. That could be like maybe, that could be maybe an A tier. So somewhere B, C tier. I, you know what? I'm gonna uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe, yeah, let's just say C for now. Let's leave it right here. This can be the gate to the, the higher tier breads. Um, I'm going to have some real hot takes in here as well. Um, so be prepared for that. Um, but let's move forward uh, from here. People are going to be really upset about this. Oh, wrong one. English muffin, D tier bread. English muffins are good in extraordinary limiting circumstances um i know a lot of people will put jam on them or just put butter on them but uh, at that point you're just eating a worse crustier bagel so why the reason is a english muffin is meant to be eaten with like breakfast food um and and it is a it is a vehicle with which to eat other things so a english muffin is like can be really good you have like a great hollandaise eggs benedict but you know you put the english muffin on the bottom you cut through it you get a nice slice of like egg maybe some ham or, or tomato or whatever whatever kind of thing you like you get some English muffin at the bottom. It serves as like a structural component, so it's really helpful. Um, but you're not like, like it's not great bread. Like it's just not great single bread. I'm not gonna get an English muffin and take a bite out of it, like unsliced, like no, thank you. That's awful. It's all, it's like the worst kind of crust <laughs> put on a bread. Uh, so yeah, English muffins, not very good. Um, they just kind of taste like flour. That's like the other issue is they're just like, they have like a really bland taste even for bread. Um, let's go to the next, mostly 
breakfast support type bread. This is a support type bread. It's the healer of breads. Um, but it's the way better than a fucking English muffin. Uh, we're gonna go to biscuit. Biscuit, A tier bread. You get a flaky, delicious, layered biscuit. You are golden. I would eat those on their own. You can eat them with dinner. They can be a great substitute for a dinner roll. They come in many varieties. The Cheddar Bay Biscuit, of course, being many people's favorites. But uh, the, the, the Gravy and Biscuit Biscuit is excellent. Uh, biscuits are just fluffy, wonderful. You can put uh, some, some fried chicken on a biscuit and then dip it in some honey mustard. That's pretty tasty. Um, biscuits are a really versatile food, but they also just taste good on their own. They're the perfect mix of buttery and flaky um, and are really satisfying to eat even on their own. Um, the biggest thing that holds them back from being like an S tier bread is that it is very easy to make a biscuit too dense and you veer into like scone territory and scones are gross as fuck. And, uh, and if you make them too they can they can become doughy if you don't cook them super great so biscuit as in a la biscuits and gravy that's an a tier bread that's an excellent bread all right um let's go let's go to a bread i think a lot of people maybe haven't eaten um or if they have eaten they've only had this in the form of like supermarket the supermarket version of this i'm going to talk about more than just the supermarket version of this oatmeal bread is just okay <laughs> oatmeal bread is the kind of bread uh that like uh a, a grandma who lives in the middle of the forest in a ghibli movie eats like this is the bread that she eats um most people are just used to bread like oatmeal bread being basically wheat bread with oatmeal sprinkled on top um, but good oatmeal bread has like oats in it. It's very oaty tasting. It's a very, I don't want to say super dense bread, but it's, it's going to be a little bit thicker to touch than any of the other types of standard sandwich or even breakfast breads. It's pretty good. It has a really dry taste to it. Um, even the, the sweetest, most wetly dense oatmeal bread there's a little bit of it that just kind of sticks to the roof of your mouth that I'm not a super huge fan of. It is pretty good though. You can use it in cool ways. It is great at breakfast time. It's a great bread. I think a lot of people would benefit from giving it a try. However, it is not particularly uh, versatile compared to a lot of other breads on this list. So it is what it is. <sighs> Let's go to the most versatile bread there is. Uh, the most versatile bread of all time is white bread. Um, white bread is an A-tier bread. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh my god, toaster, white bread, what? It's so plain, it's boring, it's whatever. Um, white bread is, as I have mentioned, a... And you guys are going to you guys are gonna say that I'm crazy until I explain what I'm about to explain. But what I'm about to explain is going to quantify why I think white bread is really, really important. White bread is the basis for so many foods. And it is also the basis with which uh, the way many families since the industrial era have literally just stayed alive. Um, I've said it many times, but bread is sort of the, the foundation of society in a lot of ways. It is one of our most important inventions and white bread being a mass produced easily uniform, understandable, pretty nutritious bread in and of itself is intensely important to just culinary science and history in general. Um, and you can see that in just the way that it's utilized. White bread is the default for a reason. It's, it's not just because it's kind of flavorless and inoffensive and people like it. It's because it pairs really well with lots of things. You can make it lots of ways. You can add things to it in a lot of ways. It's just good. It's like a good, important food for people. Um, so white bread, I would put in A tier. Now, let's get our first S tier out of the way. And I'm not fucking around when I talk about this, all right? In any situation where you're ever going to want to eat white bread, just go for whole wheat. I'm telling you. Whole wheat bread, you can literally never go wrong with it. It is a perfect food. 
whole wheat food is uh, whole wheat bread is so good you want to talk about top tier privilege here whole wheat does it all all right it's good for you it tastes good it's real flavorful you can put some butter on it and have a good time uh whole wheat bread is just the ultimate the ultimate just generic bread if there's any time you need bread and you're gonna reach for white bread you can just we reach for whole wheat and your life is better for it um whole wheat bread is an incredible bread it is i will i could just eat it all the time whole wheat toast so good eat it with eggs eat it with jam put anything on it it's just so good it is such a good bread uh, i think like white bread is going to be the bottom of a tier just because it's really important um so th that's why that is there currently let's talk about some more uh some more kind of less nutritional breads right off the bat um cinnamon bread cinnamon bread is a dessert bread cinnamon bread's great it's a great dessert it's a fun treat it tastes really good it is really dry even wet cinnamon bread is really dry because cinnamon is really dry uh it is a really overpowering flavor it's hard to do anything with um if it's just there on its own um but it is a really nice treat and you can make a lot of really cool stuff with it you can make like uh cinnamon french toast or cinnamon croutons are like really good in certain contexts uh fun fact i had a stuffing that was uh, like a turkey stuffing like for thanksgiving one year that was made of cinnamon bread it had cinnamon bread croutons in it and it was so fucking good that shit was awesome um apollo says i object to focaccia being on the list we'll talk about focaccia in a bit um so cinnamon bread very good it's great but you know you're not gonna make a sandwich out of cinnamon bread it's like a special treat it's like a cinnamon roll it's something you eat when you want a fancy indulgent delicious breakfast um it's all right right let's go to its maligned cousin cinnamon raisin bread i don't think anyone is shocked by this like cinnamon raisin bread might actually be a d-tier bread i might put it in d-tier consistency all wrong so so bizarre so strange to eat bread that is also chewy on the inside and now one of the things i'll say is that like uh sometimes you'll see in like flatbreads or other types of breads you'll get like uh seeded bread and we'll talk about seeded bread in the future which has like you know seeds in it um and that gives you a textural component or you can have things like um like olive bread that has a textural component to it the issue with raisin bread is that raisin bread is so sweet it is so alarmingly sweet that you bite into it and then the texture and the sweetness mix and you go from eating something savory to eating something that is basically candy and it is so weird do not like it at all if i wanted to eat a fucking blueberry pancake i'd eat a blueberry pancake that's all i'm saying uh not a fan of cinnamon raisin bread very bad all right, let's talk about another super important bread that is incredibly good and so worth eating. I could eat this every day. There have been times in my life where this bread has been a primary meal for me on its own. Naan is S tier fucking bread. S tier bread is, this This stuff is God-like food. You can dip this in anything. You can put any topping you want on it. You can cook things into naan. Naan is just, it is like the ultimate form of a flatbread. It is the ultimate form of, a, like, like you have, there. there's this whole category here of, of flatbreads, right? We have flatbread, pita bread, flour tortilla. Each of these is a stepping stone on the way to naan. Like, that's, that's literally, that's what it is, right? Like, look at this, flour tortilla evolves a little bit into flatbread evolves a little bit into pita bread and then you get naan that's what it it's the pokemon evolutionary line of bread um naan is god tier naan is a god tier bread it is so broken unfathomably op bread you can use it for literally everything uh it's so good potato naan incredible cheese naan amazing fucking masala naan that's great put whatever you want in it dip it in whatever it works yeah naan is an odd unbelievably good bread all right um let's talk about other important breads 
French bread. French bread is uh, here. Let's do this. Let's move white bread down to B tier. It can be like a, it can be a, a, a barrier. French bread is a better version of white bread. French bread is really excellent. Um, I think for the most part, these two things serve pretty much the same purpose. Uh, the difference largely being the crust content and its form factor. A baguette, to me, there isn't too much difference between a baguette and a loaf of white bread, with the exception that a baguette is crunchier, um, has a slightly different consistency, but you can swap it in and use it for all the same things. So it is what it is. French bread's pretty good. Uh, a good roll, you know, a French, French bread roll at like a restaurant. It's wonderful. We love it. Uh, speaking of rolls, Hawaiian rolls, uh, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably put Hawaiian sweet rolls in the top of C tier. Um, Hawaiian sweet rolls are a specific bread. You don't, you don't really do much with them other than the very specific things that call for Hawaiian sweet rolls. I generally am not going to make like a chicken club with a Hawaiian sweet roll. Yeah, some people eat the sliders with them, and those are pretty good. And some people eat them on their own because they're really sweet. That's pretty good. Um, they're not very versatile. They're not a super versatile bread. They're a tasty snack. Um, and they can be a fun accompaniment to a dish, but I just don't think they're the main course. I don't know. I don't know what to say, you know? Like, it's just fine. It's whatever. Um, brioche. Uh, let's put brioche on B. Brioche is another bread um, that is very similar to French bread and uh, French bread and and Hawaiian rolls. It's honestly sort of a fusion of the two of them, um, because very eggy, very buttery, very folded on one hand, um, but also really sweet, like weirdly sweet, used in a more versatile function. Um, the brioche is like a very popular uh, bun style now. We see a lot in, in buns for things. Brioche hot dog buns, brioche hamburger buns, whatever you want you can find. Brioche croutons you can find, which is so strange to me. Um, but again, it's an extremely rich and indulgent bread. It's pretty tasty, um, but I can't eat a lot of it. And it's really, it's just like, it is an almost overpowering bread. And that's kind of a problem. Like bread's such a team player, but brioche is the it wants to be the center stage. And I think that kind of gets in the way of it being great bread. Um I just got a taco delivered to me. Um we'll talk about tacos. Flour tortilla. How do we feel about flour tortillas? I'm going to be honest, I don't like flour tortillas. I don't like them very much. I will put the caveat that flour tortillas are very essential breads. They're very important breads. Uh, but I think that, think of it like this, taco, burrito, uh, all other, like a wrap, all foods that are consumed in, in the form of flour tortilla, the flour tortilla is not the draw. I'm not eating an enchilada because there's a flour tortilla there. You know what I mean? Uh, I am eating only ever eating a flour tortilla as a means to an end um they're also just fucking flour like <laughs> they're just flour it's like eating flour and water mixed together that's all they are um cardinal simple says fajitas yeah same with like uh what was it called quesadilla that's flour uh it's whatever it's fine uh Kettle says corn is better than flour for, for tortillas. I fully agree with you. Corn is a great version of a tortilla. Um, if corn was on this list, it would be much higher. Flour, just a little bit low tier. You can do better. That's all I'm saying. Uh, let's just do these things. Uh, flatbread is here. Flatbread is not focaccia, but let's just use flatbread as like a category for all unassorted types of flatbreads and say that a flatbread is like probably again it has the breadstick problem it's like a c-tier bread because there's it's such a wide variety there's such shit flatbread and such amazing flatbread that it just has to fall somewhere in the middle so let's put that there that's easy to get out of the way um zucchini bread 
it's also fine. It's okay. I'm not huge on it. I like it. Um, it's just fine. I don't feel strongly about it. Maybe, maybe it goes up to B tier. Maybe, yeah, edge of B tier might be good. It's a versatile bread uh, in terms of like the, you can eat it as a dessert or you can eat it on its own. I just don't think it's amazing. It's all right. I think it's good. Uh, banana bread. Like, who are we fucking around with? Who do you think I am? Banana bread is just incredible. It's just one of the best breads. Use an old banana, save some food. Super sweet, super indulgent, super delicious. Your grandma makes it, I make it, you make it. Banana bread, I think, goes without saying. It's a great bread. It's very dense. Uh, it is very calorically dense, so you can eat a little bit of it and last a long time. Uh, not feeling hungry after it. In fact, it's incredibly filling. Uh, banana bread's wonderful. Cornbread, top of B. Cornbread, as we have said before, is more of a side than it is a uh, than it is any other type of, you know, individual bread. You don't really eat like cornbread. You can't really cut very well, so you can't really eat it as like a bun because it's so dense and, and crumbly that it will fall apart. But it's pretty good as like a dipping bread if you're gonna dip it in some like chili or something. Um, it's also just good in general. I've had uh, a side of cornbread as like a side during a meal. Thanksgiving cornbread, you just eat like a, a, a puck of it and it's great. Like cornbread's good. I don't think anyone is gonna disagree with this placement of cornbread. Underachieving bread, but delightful nonetheless. It gets a passing grade. Uh, I am going to put croissant on the list next because I meant to talk about it with French bread. I think croissant is up there with French bread. I do have concerns about croissant, however, that I think push it down to B tier. Croissants are so, they have the same issue as brioche, where they do so much, but they rely on a very specific ingredient that is so strong and so overpowering that it can very easily dominate the bread and it limits what you can put on it because if you put it on it, it's just gonna taste like this one thing, and that is butter. Uh, a buttery flaky croissant is a really awesome thing. Um, croissants can be too dry if you don't make them well. They can be too wet if you make them too well. Next time you pick up a croissant, I want you to take your hand off the croissant and then look at your fingertips. Your fingertips are gonna be greasy because that is just the rich, indulgent nature of the croissant. Um, you get a super soft croissant, it's a really unsatisfying food because you bite right through it. Um, if you get a really, really hard croissant, that can also be really weird because you take a bite and then you just are covered in crumbs. I think a croissant is like, it is such a good thing when done right, but it's also really volatile. It has really, really polarizing matchups with other bread. So that is the nature of a croissant. Um. Do I want to go for it? Garlic bread. Uh, yeah. Garlic bread. Probably near cornbread. It's a side. Um, it's pretty good. Raph says, what the fuck? You don't pick up a croissant with your bare hands using a napkin? What the fuck are you talking about, Raph? What are you even talking about? What are you saying? <laughs> like, eat. The point of bread is that you can eat it with your hands. You think, you're, you think I'm gonna eat a sandwich, a, a croissant breakfast sandwich while holding a napkin around it? Are you insane? Go, what are you talking about? Uh, all right, garlic bread and B tier. I'm gonna explain this. Garlic bread tastes delicious. If this was a list where we were just ranking on taste, garlic bread would be S tier. You can do so, you can, it's just so perfect in a single bite. The issue is garlic bread is just garlic bread. It has one use and the one use of garlic bread is being garlic bread. <laughs> Sometimes it comes in other forms like cheese bread um, and you dip it in marinara sauce because you ordered it with your pizza. But garlic bread is like a completed, this is like me, this is like me not having a bagel category but putting like bagel and lox on the bread tier list. It's very weird to do that because garlic bread is a food on its own. It's a complete meal that has other ingredients. So you're not like, like this is not a loaf of bread baked with garlic that you then slice into. 
This is a picture of French bread cut in half, basted with like garlic butter and put with cheese on top of it. So this is a very different food than than every other thing on this list. So it has to be ranked down for that because it is not actually a specific type of bread. It is a preparation that all other breads can be prepared with to varying degrees of success. However, garlic bread slaps, so it's gonna go on the list. Um, let's talk about other specialized bread. Uh, pretzel bread. Pretzel bread's probably somewhere around here. Again, it has a use. It has a very specific use. Uh, it's good in buns. It's good in a sandwich. That's it. You can't, you're not really gonna eat pretzel bread rolls for like at a dinner place. You're not gonna eat pretzel bread on the side and smear some butter on it. Like that's not what it's for. It's pretty good. It's just okay. Uh, and it's a very tough bread to eat. My jaw hurts when I eat it because the crust is so strong because it's a fucking pretzel. Uh, it's like very, it can be very chewy. It can be hard to break through. So there you go. Uh, whole grain bread. Uh, whole grain bread, probably bottom of A tier. Um, depending on the grain, it can be very, the, the textural component can either be overwhelming or not. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it's kind of exactly the same as whole wheat bread, but with more healthy stuff in it, which is cool. All right. Um, let's talk about some of my favorite breads. We're going to put a bunch of stuff in S tier. Potato bread, uh, the ultimate sandwich white bread. If you, if you don't want to eat whole wheat, uh, potato bread. It makes every deli sandwich taste good. It's so good. Um, if, you don't have a, if you don't have a bun around, you can put a hamburger on potato bread and it's fucking awesome. Uh, potato bread, super great. Helped people get through like famines historically, which is really important. Um, it's kind of the gnocchi of bread. I'm not gonna qualify that statement. Uh, let's move on. The bagel, it's the top of A tier. I would put a, um, I would put a poppy seed bagel at the, at the bottom of S because it's my favorite type of bagel. Uh, but like everything bagel, there's a lot going on, but it's pretty tasty. Cheddar bagel right here, cheddar jalapeno bagel could be right there. Uh, white bagel, fine. Wheat bagel, great. Uh, a, a tier, A tier way of eating bread. Um, bagels are fucking great. Jewish bagels, incredible. Just awesome. Uh, great food, great sandwich you want to talk about a good in like an innovation in sandwich making bagel uh, you can just sub it in it's fantastic uh my personal favorite bread rye bread rye bread oh my beloved you make a sandwich out of this put anything on it it's great it has flavor that's the thing about rye bread that's the thing that people don't like about rye bread is that it has a flavor uh and it's not just bread flavored uh rye has a very grain sort of yeasty taste that is really unique um it comes out really strongly when it's toasted um i love rye bread and it is an amazing sandwich bread especially for hot sandwiches it is fantastic and it is a bread that has historically fed nations rye is some of the most nutritious bread you can get it's so fucking good Let's talk about other nutritious bread that is fed nations. Fucking pumpernickel, baby. Pumpernickel bread is another bread that if you are weak-willed, you cannot eat it. Pumpernickel slaps. Uh, oh, man. It is the ultimate toast to eat with eggs. Uh, it is so good. You can make stuff out of it. You can make beer out of it. Uh, you can make all sorts of different types of food with it. Pumpernickel is an excellent bread. Super great bread. More people should eat it. Sourdough. Top of A tier. Uh, sourdough is really good. It's a really, really good bread. Uh, people fuck it up, though. And people get really into it, and they act like it's better than it is, and they put it on things that it shouldn't be put on. Sourdough is great. Has a really good flavor. If you like sourdough, I encourage you to upgrade uh, to rye bread because in a way sourdough often tastes like diet rye um but sourdough is really good and a good sourdough uh like toasted sandwich is a really excellent bread um of course it's going to depend on the person who makes it the quality of the bread overall uh really unique but really excellent bread you really can't go wrong with it uh, sourdough is just kind of always a treat especially in big thick slices uh, talking about thick slices, there are two butter breads here, but I think one 
refers to like American white thick slice, what we might call Texas toast. And the other is the more traditional butter bread. Uh, I'll put butter bread at the bottom of C here. And then this will be like right here. This might be here. They're both fine. This is a little bit too dense for me. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I have no fucking clue what yeast bread is in this context because it's pretty common to have bread with yeast in it. Uh, but my gut says probably somewhere around here as well. Uh, just looking at the picture, it looks a little bit more uh, dense and crispy than the other breads. Maybe I'm wrong. Seems fine. Um, this is just fine. And then the last bread on the list that um, that needs to be ranked is pita bread. And this is where I'm probably going to catch some flack. But uh, I think pita is like one of the most overrated breads um, I like hummus and I like sandwiches in pita but pita like the flour tortilla is never the thing that I am craving when I eat food with pita bread uh, it is not the main attraction it is worse non it, it is structural it is a structural component to food which is fine so yeah, this is my bread tier list. This is my tier list of my absolute favorite food of all time. Bread, the most versatile food on the planet, the most essential food on the planet. Um, not being able to eat carbs is killing me. I'm going to die because I crave bread. Uh, so yeah, bread tier lists. Thanks for watching.